Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. This is another base showcase video. I am in the system, let me look at it here, it's a very long name, K9C BF165 Own Sci-Fi. Rika 8 plus M Badgers. I think that means there's 8 meter tall badgers. I don't know if those will be on the planet that we're going to, but we'll see. <laughs> so this is Bot Fodder 2's base that we're going to. And his planet is on Sci-Fi Oceania. R-I. What is that mean on it? Regogen. Yeah, it's it's probably an ocean planet, so it's got Regogen on it, of course. Regogen is the glowing plant that you can get under water. I'm really enjoying um, traveling to different people's bases. First of all, um, finding their bases. Uh, ha after after they give me a little information, I can basically navigate my way to their star. It's kind of tricky, but you can s you can watch in the video I did about how to find Lenin, the capital of the galactic hub, um, how I navigate just based on the name of the region the star is in and its distance from the center. It takes a little while, but kind of really makes me feel like a deep space navigator when I do it. So, that's a pretty cool part. So this is Bot Fodder 2's base. We are coming up on here. Bot Fodder 2 seems to be pretty, um... Uh, what's the term? Extensive in naming planets to tell you what's on them. Regogen, Baron, Baron, and that other planet, Rust Rain, is the one with the 8 meter badgers, so we won't get to see those in this video. I might just, after this video, I might go over there, check out the 8 meter badgers, and take screenshots to put on Twitter or something at Mac 4 day my shameless plug for my Twitter account and I could probably get there a little faster if I went through space there's less friction in space so if you go through space for a little bit you can get somewhere faster instead of flying through the atmosphere a little pro tip for you there Whoop. It looks like some people put communication stations underwater, or, well, probably not underwater, probably on little islands out there somewhere. I don't know if you can build them underwater or not. I know you can build save points. Oh, nice. <laughs> whoa, uh-oh. Okay, so I'm landing on the, uh, I went through the base to land on the landing pad. That was interesting. Whoa. Oh, threw me off. That was scary. Okay, good. I was safe. <laughs> oh. There's big deer on this planet. So this is a floating base. They built the base and then they deleted the whatever structure beneath the top of it. So that now it's basically floating in the air. And I've got to be careful not to fall off without my ship or I won't be able to get back up to it. That's a little scary. So anyways, it looks like, oh yeah, so making a floating base like this is one way to get rid of the central section. Every base had this has this little central um, structure that you can't delete or anything because it's vital to have for teleporting back here and everything. 
uh, but making your base float above it means that you won't have to have that little basic structure in it. I like these corner windows. They're new in the Pathfinder update. I hadn't seen them before. So basically on this floor he's just got all of his um, base building NPC spots, which of course we can't see them as we discovered in a previous video. Oh, and it goes down. I think I'll go... Well, I think I'll go up first. Because it looks like there's just a dome or two up here. He's got Mordite, or cockroach flowers, as I like to call them. Albumin pearls. Cory Zagan. This is a pretty nice setup. I like this. Honestly, I'm not sure how they built this space without exceeding the PlayStation 4 base limits. It's pretty complex. Well, of course, part of that is deleting the lower section so that it can float. See, I was already on this floor, I believe. Yep. So down to here. Oh. <laughs> I see a very claustrophobic storage area. I want to see how to get down to that platform I saw below. That was pretty cool. I'm guessing the platform is low enough that you can jetpack up to it. Only problem is... I don't have all the jetpack upgrades on this save, so I gotta make sure I don't fall off. I won't be able to get to my ship. Don't see how to get down. Oh, here we go. Nope. Already been there. Let's try over here. Again, see if there's another way down. Ah, here we go. Watch your step. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh man, I'd really like to just jump down, but I don't think I'd be able to get up without the um, without all the jetpack upgrades. So I'm gonna have to go up, get on my ship, fly down there, and then we'll check out their race because it looks like they've got a race. Um, race starter down there, so that'll be fun. Where's my ship? This is this is a pretty impressive base. This is one of the more impressive ones I've seen. Very creative. Never been on a floating base before. I'm definitely gonna have to take some ideas from it, I think. Come on, land somewhere. There we go. Let's see what this says. Love the base, says Boondock Saint 7. Let's see. I wish people would just put all their comm terminals together instead of making me travel to all of them. Hmm, I guess I'll go ahead and make my comm terminal. I'll just do the same little message about the video being on my channel. Vid for base on map for a day channel. Okay. So like I was saying, I wish people would put all their comm terminals together so I don't have to travel to all of them, but oh well. Oh, he's got a geo bay for the, um, for the hover one, I think. 
I can use the... It's called the Nomad, yeah. I'm going to use the Nomad to speed over there real quick to the comm terminals. See what other people had to say. Andy Krysek here. I'm, I think I'm going to be going to his base soon. I think he might have been one of the people that posted on the Galactic Hub. Or that could be somebody else. I know one of the names I've been seeing here left me a message on my thread to visit their base, so more to come. And no man is an island, says Parasite159. <laughs> okay, now to try out the race. I bet you it's a race on this thing, the Nomad, since he's got water. Although, I don't know, I've never made a race before. I would think that they would let you put the race... Oh, I'm sure they would let you put the race things on little islands so that you can travel across water for a race, but let's find out. Start the race. Ah, missed it. Went, jumped too far. Ah. Got this set up so it's real easy to overshoot the checkpoint. Uh, it's not those. This one next. Did I mention I hate killing animals when I run them over with my vehicle? Wish they'd make it so it's a little harder to kill everything with your vehicle. This race is a little annoying. It's a lot of turns. Oh wow. Not so much making use of the terrain, it's just making you turn over and over. It's a little annoying. I'd rather, like, you know, have a long stretch of driving before the next checkpoint instead of just constantly turning around. Giving Bot Fodder a little review on his race, I suppose. Okay, now we got some longer stretches at least. And of course, giving me ideas of what not to do when I make my race someday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, not the best race, in my opinion. Oh well. Is it over yet? <laughs> Very annoying tree obstacles. Okay, yay, we're done. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to kick me out of here or something? Maybe not. Okay. So anyways, I definitely like the base. The base is cool. The race, on the other hand, wasn't that fun. We use a little improvement. Yep, I don't have enough jetpack power to get up there. I, you probably would, like I said, if you had maxed out jetpack upgrades. Now I can log my... visit. See if I can get a new... decal. Nope, same decal as last time. Oh well. No big deal.
Okay, so that is Bot Fodder 2's cool floating base. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.